Sometimes I bite off a little more than I can chew. This is over 300 thank you cards that I'm about to handwrite. Let me explain. A few weeks ago, I did a fundraiser on my Instagram for a charity that I really love, St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. They do amazing things for families dealing with pediatric cancer. And I got so excited about supporting this cause that I told everyone that donated they would receive a personal thank you card from me. Only problem is she made absolutely no plan on how to get people's addresses. I think your heart is bigger than your brain, honey. <laughs> Your mouth is bigger than your. <clears throat> than my what, Abby? Heart. There should have been a better plan with this. You forgot the art of a handwritten thank you card. Your mom raised you better than this. I want to ask you a question, Abby. Is a thank you card. Comment down below. Abby, have you I, written? How you feel about your son not understanding the value of a thank you card anymore? Abby, I have a question for you. Have you written a single one of your thank you cards from your baby shower back in April? Yes. You want to see the thank you cards? Why is that sitting in your closet? It's well, not clearly me. I got hung up on this one because I didn't have her address. <laughs> Hold up. So you didn't send these because you didn't have an address, but you're trying to get 300 addresses right now. I had to figure out how to get all the 300 plus addresses, and the only option I saw was personally DMing everyone and then addressing the envelopes by hand. Thankfully, I recruited some good help for these tasks. I feel like you have the harder job. You deserve cookies or something. I love it. This is fun. Okay, are you actually <laughs> having fun? Yeah. Did Abby pay you to say that? <laughs> we had a big debate on what she should say on the card. So we have, thank you for joining me and supporting St. Jude's mission. Have a blessed day. I don't know and anybody like, that writes their signature in print. I had my signature down and then I got married. Ooh. Now I really did start to get into a good rhythm with filling out all these cards, but it didn't happen without okay. making any mistakes. I accidentally did a thing. What I'm seeing as I'm pulling it off the stack is this. And most of the cards go horizontally. So therefore this makes sense. Boom, boom. For the past like few cards, they are vertical ones. So therefore, when people open it, it's gonna be sideways. So if you're one of the four people that gets a sideways thank you card, consider yourself lucky. That's a ton of cards. That's crazy, dude. It's so crazy seeing like all the states that this is. Like, Whoa, from. what's the coolest one that stuck Ireland. out to you? No. How much does postage to Ireland cost? I have to figure that out. <laughs> Abby was knocking out these thank you cards at a ridiculous rate, so as the wonderful husband that I am, I decided to sabotage her. Man, that's so inappropriate. Sorry, what? Oh, were you right there? I didn't notice you. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that. <laughs> Are you literally writing a tattoo on my ankle right now? What does that even say? <laughs> Mom? <laughs> Holy crap, dude. You're doing this way faster than I thought you'd be able to. You gave me so much crap. If I can just have a chunk of time with no distractions, I can focus and really get stuff done. But of course, there's always something going on. And tonight, I forgot about the fact that we are having a Friendsgiving tonight. So I want to get myself pulled together a little more than this. I actually think I want to wear something that I got for my recent thread up order. Now, thread up, if you don't know, is an online consignment and thrift shop that is good for the planet, it's good for your wallet, and it's great for your closet. This shirt is from Altered State. It has an estimated retail price of $64, but was just $17. On thread up. And these jeans are originally from Paxson and they have an estimated retail price of $51, but we're just $20.99 on thread up. They actually fit me great too. I think they make my booty look cute. This is a Forever 21 sweater that retails for $27, but was $16.99 on thread up. This Princess Polly skirt retails for $38, but was $17.99 on thread up. And these boots from Zara are the real steal of this fit. They're from thread up too, and they retail for $100. $130, but we're just $48.99 on thread up. And for the third option, I don't know, I feel like this one might just be my vibe tonight. This sweater is from thread up. It is originally from Billabong and has an estimated retail price of $51, but was just $24.99 on thread up. Thread up also has a really cool new feature where you can shop very similar items to one that I thrifted. If you want to find a sweater like this, definitely click the link down below. You can't go wrong. Discount code right here. Thank you, thread up. Oh my gosh, I want to eat that so bad right now. Hello! Sorry that we're an hour late. It's all Griffin's fault, not ours at all. Oh, Griffin. 
Okay, it's a new day, a fresh start. If I'm gonna be productive, I've realized my atmosphere around me really needs to be like productive. I don't know, are any of you guys like that? I got my candle lit, it's all cleaned up. I'm gonna put my earbuds in, listen to my Christmas music. Yeah, let's knock these out. Here we go, baby. Yeah, so originally I thought I could get this done in one day, but it's proving to take a little longer than expected. I think today's gonna be the day that Abby knocks this out. What do you think, Abby? It's also Sunday, so we can't ship them out today. So it's gonna take another day? Shoot. The post office closes in less than an hour, and Abby needs to try to get the rest of these cards done. Hey, Matt, actually, while I do this, do you wanna go ahead and put the stamps on them? If your card arrives with slobber on it, it's not mad or I. <laughs> this little munchkin. While our babysitter Haley did an incredible job on addressing all the cards, she wasn't quite able to do the international ones, and that became my job. Over what language name? do people in Ireland speak? Pretty sure it's English. But then why does that not look English? Wait, dude, this is crazy. The zip code has an X in it. Just kind of, I guess that's a thing. I'm so confused. I'm so confused too. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm typing it into Google and seeing if it works. That's cool. That is okay, really how cool. do I do it? I'm still figuring that part out. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Shockingly, addressing international cards is not as simple as one might think. Countries around the world have different formats for how they do their mail, and oftentimes you have to write in different languages. So which countries do we have left now? The Netherlands, Slovenia. <sighs> Slovenia? Where what? is that? Dude, this is really cool that people donated from literally all over the world. Thank you. We have you. to go. The post office is going to close. Okay, yeah, we definitely need to hurry up. I have been so thrown off by this address in Slovenia, and then I just realized that the first two words in the address were literally the person's name. Hopefully this is right. I just wrote down all the information, and if it isn't in the right format, hopefully the postal service knows what to do. Finally, the end was in sight. I had finished addressing all the international cards, and Abby finished doing her thank you notes. We were about to leave for the post office when and, well, something pretty bad happened and embarrassing. Mainly embarrassing, honestly. You know the scene in Elf where Buddy the Elf is in the mailroom, then his dad gets a call and he's like, what's going on? And then they're like, we have an issue in the mailroom. And then it switches to the scene and Buddy the Elf is like dancing and he's like, hey! <laughs> like, he's like dancing. But I, I really feel like what we need right now is just a good heartfelt dance party. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to experience that for myself right now. <laughs> was our light above the kitchen island shattering into a thousand pieces. <laughs> That was a total epic fail. All over our floor, our countertop, Abby's purse, the cards. That was really dumb. Oh, freaking stupid. And it's gonna shatter completely. Yeah, how long is that gonna take for you to get fixed? I don't know. Have you even seen the damage yet? Yeah, I'm not. You always make things just take so much longer than they need to take. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, I'm gonna clean this up. Breaking news, shattering glass all over your kitchen is one way to frustrate the heck out of your wife. <laughs> I'm so stupid. You gotta go. Let's go. So there's a stamped letters box. We can just drop them right in there. Gosh, we jammed it. We jammed it. Oh. I feel like I'm mailing my letters to Santa. I've almost felt like Santa Claus today stamping all the stamps. Well, I also felt like Buddy the Elf. Don't remind me about that. We've never done anything like physical like this that we've like, it's like a special part of us that's going out into the world and getting to greet you guys. It's really cool. If you're receiving one of these, our hands have touched it. <laughs> Wow. There's one more card, and this person asked me to hand deliver it. Oh. Kind of weird. Wait, hand, hand deliver? How are we going to hand deliver somebody their card? We're here. Hey! hey. <laughs> so, Tom requested that his card is hand delivered. <laughs> oh, hi, guys. <laughs> this is a thank you, Mars. I feel a weight lifted off of my shoulders. Thank you again to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. You can shop my picks at the link in the description, and if you use my code, you can get 30% off your order and free shipping on your first ThreadUp order.